Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with something new, and we're gonna jump into Deliver Us Mars. And uh, this is gonna be a blind playthrough, so let's just jump in here and see what happens. Managed to get you a new one. Yeah! Ah, but before I give it to you, you have to promise to take better care of him. Okay. Better than the ones that you destroyed before. I promise. <laughs> a moon bear for my moon bear. I'm almost ready, Kathy. Give me five minutes to get into my wetsuit. Don't overdo it, honey. School and work never stops. You just pace yourself. But I know, I know. I just lost track of time. Plus, the subject matter. Fascinating. <laughs> Father like daughter, I guess. <clears throat> Promise? Yes. Alrighty. Moon Man Bundle Volume 1, Issue Number 1 for Crossing and Issues Number 2, First Contact, written by Conrad Van. Ooh. Conrad Van Shagic? Illustrated by Amira. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna butcher last names and stuff. With the fate of the world at stake, a brave astronaut travels to the moon. His mission investigate the lunar colony's mysterious radio silence. On an abandoned space station, he finds clues that an old friend may still be alive on the lunar surface. Will the astronaut make it off the direct space station and onto the moon? Stationed together at Copernicus Moon Hub, author Conrad and artist Amira conceived Moon Man's su suspenseful thriller using their surroundings as direct inspiration. Alrighty. The beginning of a beautiful collection. It's a weird looking uh, spaceship. That little, I guess you can control that little robot toy with the controller. And yeah, I think we're good. Star bears. Well, you know what? That looks kind of cool. I wouldn't be surprised if that, you know, was a legitimate thing. Especially for the younger population with Disney. They like, you know, doing crazy things. Tablet ID Claire John Johansson. Picto High School. Deadline coming up. Finish your document. The trolley problem explained today for early submission. Yeah, she's in the bathroom getting ready. Future of Fusion Energy. Charles Walker. Let me in. For humanity, for the future. Some nice art. Got some nice music too. It's probably gonna like cause a copyright strike, but you know, it's nice. 3747, you're still my center of gravity. Much love, Liz. 
Uh, how y'all much love? It, it looks like they're kind of sleeping in separate bedrooms. But you know, sometimes that's good for, you know, a relationship, I guess. I don't know. Oh, this is nice, though. Wake up in the morning and walk out. Watch the sun rise. All right, let's get out of here. Property just 15 minutes from the new campus. We must have earned a free loyalty relocation at this point. Lizzie, the, another one of these seasons, and this entire area will be a desert. Can we just hold off until the kids are done with school and I actually finish a residency for once? I'm just trying to keep us safe. <laughs> Honey, the kids have a dad that commutes to the moon. Safe means something else to them. I want to give them just a bit of normalcy, okay? Right. Yeah, let's Mummies figure what's going on. Allowed to do this, I'm afraid. Breaking news as we go live to the southern border of Colorado in the United States, where fighting has erupted between refugees and border troops. President Vincent has denounced the violence, stating that. When are you going to go snorkeling with Claire? That's freaking weird. Okay. You Spectacular dive, honey. Thanks. Such an athlete. This is what's <laughs> wrong with kids nowadays. They get this, uh... I think I pulled something. They get guarded and stuff. They never see the bad things in the world. And then they're thrown to the wolves when they get to age. And then they get smacked by society. Like, she's like, what? She's like at least 10, 12 years old. Like, she can see what's going on in the world. Like, come on. Crazy. Yes. I know, Dad. Don't worry. Come on. Okay, bye, Dad. Love you. Better get in the water quick before Dad catches you. Come on. Alrighty. Oh, what is that? Oh, leaves. I'm like, man, that kind of looks like guts and intestines right there. Strange. Okay, we can jump now. I must say parkour. Uh, I must say, you can't even. Look, she can't even fit into her little toy uh, Come spaceship. On, Get in the water. But Moonbell wants to go snorkeling too. Bring me the bed, you little troublemaker. <laughs> no. All right, let's get in the Come water. On, Kathy, jump in. Dang, she's got goggles on and everything. Okay. Good Dad. It's all right. I'm going to get you out of there now. Okay? Come on. Dad. It's all right. I'm in here. AZ Unit 7633-R. Ownership transfer authorization 170544. Isaac Johansson. Say the name, darling. Kathy Johansson. Whatever happens, you must keep Ada close to you at all times. Never let her out your sight, all right? That's okay. I've got you. I've got you. Listen, remember, we must be very quiet, okay? No. Just listen to me. You have to go. You have to go. How are your legs? Can you walk? Where's Moonbear? Oh, we don't have time for that now, darling. I want Moonbear. I, I think it's somewhere in this room. Uh, be quick. All right, we're not going to be quick. Request conditions have been met. MPT connections has been reestablished. Protocol auto wake cryopod Isaac Johansson activated. Well, it makes me think that, like, you know, when she jumped in the water, she drowned and they had to, like, you know, Reviver or whatnot, or you know, creator, but I doubt that's what happens here. But we found her moon bear. Found it. Great. Now, now come to me. I need your help, moon bear. Alrighty, let's go help the father. There's a button on the other side of the room. When it turns on, I need you to press it, okay? Okay. Now, moon bear. 
I pressed the button. That's it. Okay, it's time to go. Hey. Oh, he walks weird. <laughs> he walked like a, a creepy. Stay there, darling. Don't let them see you. All right, what are they? Evil or something? Okay, let's go. Okay, listen carefully, darling. In the room on the other side of the vent up there is Ace. Rose's Ace? Yes, we need to take him with us and get him back to her. Ace likes me best. After Rosa. Absolutely. That's why I need you to climb up there and call him over to you. Quietly. Okay? Okay. Dang. Well, see, that was a nice clean cut. I wish that would happen. So they were all planning to abandon Earth? Let's tell the team we've got the Lunar Council AC in our hands. We need to see more of these holograms. Ace. Ace, it's me. Hi. Follow me. Yep. Look at that. Big old robot. He's like, yeah, I'll follow you. Alright, we made it back down. Slowly but surely. Come on down. What are you doing? ASC unit number 67354-N. Initiate transfer protocol. Lunar Council override. Isaac Johansson. Code 170544. Dad, Ace isn't like this. It's okay. He doesn't know we're taking him back to see Rosa. Isaac Johansson. We've got to hurry. They're probably looking for us now. Dad, my legs hurt. Come, I'll, I'll carry you. Damn. This is like 12 year olds gonna get carried. I mean, probably 10 or 8. Like 8, I mean, what? This looks like a 10 year old, right? Maybe 9. I don't know. Let's see if we can see anything cool. Claire? Claire? Kathy! Okay, something terrible is happening then. Where are we going? We're going to Alpha Group there. Together. Okay, so we can open up the door for her. There's just a lot of mystery involved here. D do we open the door or do we just like keep on going? I'm gonna go open it. You never show me any of the issues in the real world, so I'm like dumb. Damn, he really loves us, but he's outrunning us right now. He's like, screw that kid. I'm going home. <laughs> Get to the door, you know, he, he was on. willing to pick her up and carry her, but now he's not. Stop! 
sequence initiated. Clear blast chamber. So there's a lot of mystery involved here. We don't really know why he was leaving. But I guess we're going to find out. What do you think, Ayla? Reckon we'll get a few more months out of this relic? <laughs> yeah, me neither. If your butt is starting to hurt from the car seat, you're welcome to come up here and help me. You're right. You wouldn't. As an MPD systems are for nerds. Okay. Okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That super brain of yours still needs to be chaperoned to every MPD dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're old? Whatever. Anyway, I'm nearly done. Just have to cut out some plating that's obstructing the beam's waveguide. Can you let Moonhub know the dish is ready to receive? I already did. Don't forget to hook the stream points back up to the receivers. Mm-hmm. Got it. Alrighty. Fix the MPT dish. 
It looks like we gotta work our way down. I don't know how that thing works, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Let's let's try the ladder. Maybe the ladder will get us where we need to go. Um, okay, okay. I uh, first death of the of the campaign <laughs> before we even leave Earth. Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're skipping that. We've already seen that. That wouldn't be much help anyway. You're right. You wouldn't. Okay, okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That super brain of yours still needs to be chaperoned to every MPT dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're old? Whatever. Yes. Anyway, I'm nearly done. Just have to cut out some plating that's obstructing the beam's waveguide. Can you let Moonhub know the dish is ready to receive? I already did. Don't forget to hook the screen points back up to the receivers. Mm hmm. Got it. The slow ladder is my weakness. All right, let's cut this. All righty. All right, is that good enough? All right, now let's get the stream points hooked up and then we're done. All right, where's the stream points? Down there. Well, at least we can take the, the stairs, not the ladder. Maybe. Ooh, okay, yep. Avoid falling to your death, please. Okay, we gotta go further. Oh, another, another ladder. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, so that's close enough. Alrighty, so. Let me hook up these stream points and I'll be right there. How do we get these things going? Okay, well, let's go this one first. Maybe you'll tell us here. Fix the MPT dish. Hook up the MPT dish. Okay, yeah, yeah. Are we, are we missing something here? Okay. So, triangle. No one knows. The game... Oh, wait. Maybe we cut this. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's something over here. Okay, there is something we need to cut. We figured it out. Yeah, then we gotta cut what's out here. Probably on from the inside. I say get it. All right, let's turn it. How do people cope before stream tech? Must have been a mess of cables snaking around entire living rooms. I remember it well. Good times. Okay, just gotta find the receiver point to connect it to. Okay, so where do we go now? Okay, so we got that going here. Probably need to do something like this instead. Would this work though? Can we move this one? Yes. Alrighty, we figured it out. 
Maybe they could have made that mission a little bit easier, but you know, we did it. Go to Ryan. Ryan's, you know, not good for anything other than driving us around, apparently. Let's go talk to him. This is the third site I've had to hook up to a stream point. These dishes shouldn't be running on emergency power. Yeah, along with everything else in this place. These smaller Cascrain antennae can't withstand another thermal shock. Not with the prolonged power traffic that's passing through them. You realize no one understands what you're saying, right? Come on, even you know what a cyclotron wave rectifier is. Okay, now you're just making up words. <sighs> Hop on. Oh, we're not even gonna get in the front seat? We're gonna get in the back of the vehicle? Okay. I didn't know he had a passenger in there. Look at that giant dish. Are we still doing drinks after this? Claire almost choked me to death last week for giving me beer. Bless. Listen, your sister might not be big, but when it's something that concerns you, that woman can kill a lion with her bare hands. So that's it on the drinks. Hello? Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? Oh, that must be really serious. Can I tag along? No. You only have to smuggle me past security, and then once I'm in, I'll just... No. Fine. <laughs> I know that fine. Claire? You going to that meeting at Maria's? That meeting you're not invited to. This is a rough area though. Look at all the buildings too. All rusted. People are all angry, kicking at nothing but air. A little robot friend looks like he's gonna go to sleep. All right, this is your stop. Is it? It is. Just let the grown-ups handle this secret meeting first. Okay, that was uncalled for. Just wanted to make sure you're not still gonna try anything dumb to get in. I won't. Don't even think about it. Uh-huh. All right, let's go sneak into this meeting. <laughs> like, uh, what do you think we're gonna do? All righty, find right. a way. Let's go find another way into Maria's office. That's called lying, Ayla. Let's go. I'll say we can like use our our cutting tool to cut everyone. I mean, if you can cut metal, you can cut through, you know, people. Okay, there was something there. Say, so let's go in here. You know, if we're just like gonna walk around, like just walk right to the area, I'm gonna be a little upset. Yeah, we can cut through here to Maria's. Might be fun to have a look around too. Not been here in ages. Ooh, look at this thing. Oh, I guess like this is like the moon rover. Looks like no one has. In 2041, the lunar MPT dish helped diminish the planet's energy crisis by massively increasing energy yields. After the Great Blackout of 2054 and the instigation of Mission Fortuna, Rolf Robertson made his way to the moon base to restart the MPT. 
WSA really is trying their best to help our world with our energy needs. I'm sure we'll get to help the entire population someday. Okay, once it's go that way. Microwave power technology is a revolutionary form of energy absorption and distribution. The lunar MPT. For a minute, I thought he had like a walking cane. I'm like, damn, he's on the moon with a cane. Help to stop the growing energy crisis of the 2030s. MPTs, my jam. I got absolutely fascinated by it when I saw my dad working on it every day. He really saved this planet when he designed this. After the great blackout catapulted the Earth back into an energy crisis, Claire Johansson, Muriel Gonzalez, and Rolf Robertson undertook Mission Fortuna, a manned rocket mission to discover the blackout's cause. Robertson, under the guise of Johansson and Gonzalez, refueled and reconnected the MPT dish. Claire really had such a big hand in reviving the WSA. Alrighty, I think there's one more we have to do, and then we've hit the button on all of these. Can we pick that up? No. It's the book chilling here. Oh, you hold it. We're all space suit from the moon. The journey this outfit has gone through, one can only dream of being part of such a legendary mission. The WSA globe... It's almost ironic that they painted it yellow gold as this planet becomes more desertified every day. There's nothing I can do about it. The generation before us already took it all for granted. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, what we got here? With the fate of the world at stake, a brave astronaut travels to the moon. His mission? Investigate the lunar colony's mysterious radio silence. On an abandoned space station, he finds clues that an old friend may still be alive on the lunar surface. Will the astronaut make it off the dialect space station and onto the moon? I think we've already read that. All right, good enough. After the success of Mission Fortuna, Claire Johansson spearheaded Mission Bestia to provide manpower to the lunar MPT and bring Rob's body back home. Claire and her team discovered WSA software engineer Sarah Baker critically injured in cryosleep. Isaac Johansson, one of the three lunar council members and core outward instigators, took the last arc and escaped. That's the last time I saw Dad. All right. Just remembering it always feels... I'm fine. And there's her father. Devised by the Lunar Council members sometime before the Great Blackout, Project Outward saw the evacuation of nearly all moon base residents on board three large spacefaring vessels known as ARCs. The location of the traitorous council members, as well as the rest of the moon base crew, remains unknown. My dad designed and built most of the ARCs that they used. Like almost everything else here at the WSA. It was supposed to be an escape plan for the colony if something ever went wrong. Alrighty. I think we went through the museum, so I think we're good. Let's see hey, if we can get through this door. Try and see if we get lucky. Oh, you know, no locks can uh, bypass this guy, huh? Okay, what do we do? Well, worth a try. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, that works out. No security. Good, sis. <laughs> they really need to change these. I like nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Thanks, I try. You? Trying anything? Yeah, right. I just, I meant that, like, Thanks. you. 
never have to Come on, Alex. Try. Are you headed to Maria's office? No way. Oh, I'm just going the same way. So. Hey, I was just looking at a few of the Mission Fortuna exhibits on my way over here. That's good. How long were you actually stationed on the moon? I was on the space station, mostly. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's why I never saw you on the surface, I guess. I saw you. Oh, really? When I did software upgrades for Rose's ASE. Oh, yeah, ACE. No, ASE. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean, <laughs> I named it ACE because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym, so I just kept calling it ACE, and Rosa would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess we're just right. gonna walk into the, the meeting, <laughs> even though we're not supposed to. Yours is named Alex, right? Uh, where are you headed to? Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question yet. Uh, question? About how long you were stationed on the moon. You want the years with the forced cry asleep or without? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting, Kat. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I, I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save me? Your dad did not... Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but what your dad and the Lunar Council did, they they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Am I interrupting something? No. No. Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. I made it this far, you might as well just let no. me. No. Maria's gonna be on video, you no. know. No. Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. We totally did. Planet work. I like being a rebel. Let's go. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Thanks. Alright, but there looks to be kind of like a back way we can get in there to protect and prosper on a planet that's not prosperous. Alright, but we're going to stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. Next time we'll sneak into this meeting. I'm pretty sure they're going to be talking about her father. And I'm assuming he's on Mars. So that's the big job or the big goal here.